Hey what's up YouTube this is FTV here for FTV Productions of course and uh, FTV stands for Face the Venom by the way and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create a very very cool looking um, what do you call it An inscription effect and um, you can see these cracks here and if you see really closely you'll see that the words are actually inscripted inside so we're going to be learning how to create this effect right inside of Photoshop. So first thing is the most obvious step in all of my tutorials. I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to create a new doc. And uh, let's try a very, uh, you know, unique uh, size. So let's say like uh, 600 and um, 450. Yeah, these are weird sizes and weird sizes are good. <laughs> Alright, so, and uh, we'll go to the foreground color and type in AE 8C and sorry 42 and uh, that's just a good color and I'll grab the paint bucket tool boom paint it paint it in alright so our canvas is kinda looking old but um, it's much too perfect so we're gonna go to filter noise add noise and uh, we change the amount to like uh, 4.8 or something 4.8 and for distribution or night change that to uniform and monochromatic has to be checked and I will hit OK and now it's looking even older so um, let's move on and uh, now I'm gonna make it look even older so we go to filter and uh, where was it uh, filter texture texturizer and um, Alright, so we go to the texture we'll of sandstone, change the light to like top left, and uh, we change the scaling to 62, and the relief to 3, and uh, then we hit OK. And uh, that makes it look like an old parchment kind of thing there, and it just looks kind of blurred out, so we can apply one other filter called filter, sharpen, sharpen, and that's going to sharpen it up a bit. And then we need to import in our inscription uh, the the wall in which inscription is written so now we're going to make the texture so I have a texture um, I think I have a one everything's so organized here so we have this texture right here that uh, kind of, it's kind of a wall and it looks good uh, if you want I can upload that somewhere but uh, you can always you can search on google and you can find something so I'll drag it to the photoshop icon and I'll place it here just above our, uh, well, you know, the background thing. So, um, that's why you need to make sure that your, uh, you know, the background is exactly the size as the image. And once you drop it, you won't be able to select anything. First, you want to click on this tick icon, and that's going to confirm it. So, we we'll select this texture, and we'll lower down the opacity to like 70%. And for the transfer mode, we'll choose hard light. And uh, that's, that creates a very, very cool looking old effect there. And the next thing we're going to do is select all of these layers, this one and this one. And we hit Control E and we merge them into one single layer and unlock it, of course. And uh, that's going to be our background. background. And, uh, and then we move on to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. And that's just the lighting and what we'll do is we'll move this lighting around maybe here somewhere here and uh, this this place looks good and I uh, make sure the light type spotlight and uh, there are no very hot spots as you can see here so we hit OK and uh, that way we free the light here so uh, and I've done the background let's move on to the text so we'll take the text tool and we'll choose a nice font. I'm using Trident Pro. You can always download that. And let's write something here. So let's try rest in peace. And uh, FTV. Yeah, FTV. I don't want to die, but yeah, that was good. And uh, we select this tool and uh, we pick a color here. So this color is going to be 867F60 we hit OK and uh, that, that is the color here so I'll position it maybe here 
and uh, what we'll do is we'll center it up here and change the transfer mode to multiply and uh, yeah perfect and you can sh write anything else you want maybe I'll just stick with this or you'll iron something even more threatening lorem epsom and I don't really mean know what that means but uh, I've heard it I've heard it's been written somewhere so I'll be using that and uh, we could lower down the size to like 50 and uh, position it here just for the example I'm gonna write only lower epsom in the sorry in this effect I wrote lower epsom dollar sit can say and I just found it somewhere in the area so we'll keep it to this here and uh, the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna duplicate this layer so hit control J to duplicate the layer and the fill opacity will lower than the fill to zero and this one we're gonna apply some effects so we right click blending options so we go over to bevel and emboss and uh, we change the style to outer bevel and this technique has to be smooth and for the depth we're gonna type in 1000 instead of 100 change the direction to down and uh, size to 2 and we don't want to soften it we change the angle to 68 degrees and the second angle is 32 and uh, for the highlight mode we have screen and uh, I'm sorry where did I do 32 or so alright so we're gonna move in here and uh, just pick a nice color maybe maybe this one here hit ok and uh, for the opacity here we have 100% and uh, for the uh, multiple opacity we have like 73% and uh, that looks good. We hit OK and that way you can see we've just engraved our text there. We don't want to move it around because it's the duplicate there. Alright so that's just the basis of this tutorial but uh, to enhance it even more what you could do is create a new layer and merge all of these layers with the effects into one by hitting Control E and uh, merging them all together and well, what's happened? I'm sorry, just one uh, with this layer, not the second one. Hit Control E, and we'll merge it up together. And then we'll do is select the eraser tool, and for the brush size, uh, we yeah, hardness to zero, and the size to maybe around 200 pixels. And for the opacity, we're gonna do like 40% opacity, and that's a really big brush. And this is just to clean up some of the effects with the lighting. And I'll just move it around here maybe somewhere and uh, yeah so you're done and of course you want to go to file save as save it to the desktop as inscription description as a PNG hit save and uh, save here and uh, then we have a look at it perfect looks so beautiful and of course you can inscript much much more things here you can lower and epsom and a couple of more things there I think that was it what was that I don't remember actually but I copied it from the internet somewhere and I found those and that they're written somewhere so I wrote this so um yeah that's all I want to show you I really don't know how to end tutorials so I always say this but uh, yeah so that's it that's all I wanted to show you Hope you like the tutorial. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, thank you.